In this series, we are touring the UK and Ireland, looking for the energy solutions of the future. Is there a sustainable energy solution to our energy needs? We meet some prominent individuals and companies spearheading development of sustainable energy, and we ask them, how will the world make the transition? When will it happen? And are we there yet? Today, I have the pleasure of visiting the UK Atomic Energy Authority here at Cullum. I'm here to meet with Heather Lutas, the Head of Innovation. Welcome to Future Models, Heather. Thank you. It's, it's really nice to, to speak to you. Um, so here at the UK Atomic Energy Authority, we're the UK Government Research Lab for, for Fusion. Um, so fusion is the, the process that powers the sun. We're combining lighter elements together in order to, to make energy. We're basically putting the sun, the sun in a bottle. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is so that we can create a safe, low carbon and sustainable part of, of the world's future energy needs. The maintainability of a, of a fusion power plant is going to be absolutely key. You need it to be able to run reliably. So we have a, a department on site called um, Remote Applications for Challenging Environments, and they're looking at how you robotically maintain um, a fusion power plant. And they've been doing this for, for decades. Now, the fantastic thing about this is you've got all that expertise in robotics for harsh environments, and then you start thinking, right, how can we make impact into other sectors using this expertise? And so that's my job at UKAEA to support everyone from plasma physics to robotics to think about how they can take what they do and then apply it into other sectors to help maximize scientific impact, economic impact. How can we really look at the spillover benefits into um, space, medical, um, all these different sectors that we can, that we can help make, make progress. So you've talked about taking this innovation and this technology to other sectors. Are you also taking learnings and bringing them back in to UK AEA? Absolutely. We need to bring in expertise from lots of different sectors. People who have solved some of these challenges, we need to take what they know and bring it in. That's what we need to do in order to do this as quickly as possible. The world needs this, this clean energy source. So taking learning from other people is, is really key. So it sounds like a really exciting place to be. However, we're not there yet because it's not commercially viable. So are you able to attract talent into UK AEA? Is it an exciting place for future generations? So it's a really exciting place to work. There is so much going on. Um, but I think just um, in every sector, we need more and more scientific engineering talent coming in um, in order to help us, help us meet, these, meet these challenges. And that also involves working with the supply chain as well. So um, the more we work with people and bring them into the programmes, the more we can rely on all those skill sets um, in other organisations as well. So, for example, one of the big programmes on site is called STEP, so a spherical tokamak for energy production. And that's looking at all this expertise in operating fusion experiments, all this expertise in maintenance, in dealing with the fuels, all these things and going, right, Bringing the, we're going to bring this together and look at how we're going to create a prototype power plant. So aiming for 2040, we're going to be building a prototype fusion power plant. So the site has been chosen. It's going to be in West Burton. We have this goal and step and the even, even bigger supply chain that they're going to bring together for this project is really going to, going to demonstrate everything we've just been talking about in terms of bringing in that diversity of thought, that diversity of experience, it's all going to be needed in order to, to meet that challenge. Brilliant. So Heather, if you had a key message for the supply chain, what would it be? So my message would be get involved. I'm sure there is lots of experience, lots of expertise that you can bring to bear on fusion challenges to help us um, really meet those, those global uh, energy needs. So collaboration is a key point here with the supply chain. Collaboration is absolutely, yeah. absolutely key. And it covers the breadth of all the, all the different technologies that we deal with. Materials, plasma physics, robotics, um, fuel cycle, power cycle, all these different things. Um, we really need to be, to be collaborating and bringing people um, into fusion as much as possible so that we can, we can solve these challenges really quickly. Thank you, Heather. So just thinking about STEP then, once we've got this power station, 
up ready in 2040. And what happens next? Does it generate electricity? So STEP will be a prototype uh, power plant. So it will look at everything that you will need to do in order to create a commercially viable power plant. It will generate energy, um, but it will be a prototype. So you'll take all the learning in building it, operating it, maintaining it, and then that will be the blueprint for future commercial fusion power plants. So you've talked a lot about the opportunities and, and the challenges. Is there anything, any other key messages that you'd like the audience to take away? I think I would like them to, to take away the message that fusion is, is coming. Um, there's been lots and lots of work over the decades in fusion. We've made some big leaps forward and you can really see the momentum with all the different organisations getting involved with fusion. Um, you can really feel that now is the time that we are pushing ahead and you can see um, that fusion is, is going to make an, an impact. So fusion is coming, I say, think would be the, the message that I would like to give. Exciting times. Thank you very much, Heather. Thanks.